Hey y'all, it's LA. What's up with ya? How is life treating you? I hope it's good. We finna do the next 72 hours for my Aries. We want to know what's going down. What we got to face. What we got to deal with. And also, if you don't like tarot, what you doing here? And I send love and light and bless to you. I'm only giving the message that they give to me to tell you. So if you don't like tarot, don't I will not be offended because it is what it is. Um, push like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Will be one hundred appreciated. And God send mercy and blessings to the whole world to everyone. And I have prayed and I have blessed everyone before I started. I wanted to make sure everything was clear. So well, let me do the energy check. Okay, we're going to start off with Aries. Aries, I want to see what the Moonology goes says for the next 72 hours. What is the energy and the moon phases that they're going to, the energies that they're going to have to deal with in the next 72 hours? What's up with my Aries? I love you, Aries. Y'all fine, gorgeous men. Y'all just one of those people that are powerful, my bosses. Want to order that? I send them and I say them. <laughs> this what's up. It is what it is, ain't it? Glorified, sanctified. Hold on. Turn on this light. So if you can't say me. I don't want nobody to say they can't say me. Can't say me. Okay, what do you want to tell? My lovely, gorgeous Aries. That they need to know what's going to be going down next 72 hour. What moon phase? What energy? Okay. It says, the fixed moon, they want you to hold on to your visions. Hold on to your visions, Aries. Go and boss up and hold on to it. Don't let nobody take your joy. Don't let nobody go where your enemies rule. The enemies don't rule nothing up in these streets. And I mean nothing. And at the bottom you have, Surrender to the divine at the full moon. They want you to start surrendering yourself, your time, your effort towards what the plan and the purpose is. Now let's see what your soul journey is supposed to be doing. Spirit, what soul journey path is they supposed to be going through in the next 72? What is that they should be aware of that the soul journey is supposed to learn in the next 72 hours? What is Aries supposed to be so journey? Supposed to be learning the next 72 hours. Spirit. What is the soul journey supposed to be learning the next 72 hours? Spirit. What are they supposed to be learning in the next 72 hours? Okay. They want you to stop the blame game. Accept responsibility. For my well-being. You need to stop blaming people. Let go of the blame, Aries. It's somebody's fault because I'm here. Ain't nobody's fault in the next 72 hours. The choices that we do and the things we do, you got to start taking the blame for the things that you do wrong also, Aries. Because you ain't perfect. You ain't sanctified. You ain't glorified. You doing the same thing as the others. And we all supposed to learn our soul journeys. And you need to stop that. In the next 72 hours, they want you to stop that blame game. Let me pull one more because they're telling me to. What else, Spirit? Do you want to? You want me to pull another card? What else you want to say to Aries in the next 72? The soul journey. Oh, they turned over too. Told you. They want you to stop the denial. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. They want you to stop denying yourself. Stop denying what's in front of you. Okay? Just like stop playing the blame game. But they want you to stop the denial too also. Then you got, you need to have courage. I find the inner strength to face fears with confidence. You need to face your fears and have courage in your life to do the pur life purpose that you're supposed to do here while you're here. You're supposed to get your courage on. You need to get going, get it moving, get it crack a -lack in Aries. Stop playing the blame. I blame you. I blame you. <laughs> 
I play too much, don't I? <laughs> what else you want to tell Aries for the next 72 hours, spirit? What else they need to know? What's going to be crack -a lacking down with the Aries in the next 72? I don't like these cards. They don't check it too good. Uh, the next 72. I'm going to have to do them the other way because they're just too much. The next 72 hours, what's going to be going down with my Aries spirit? The next 72 hours, give them insight. Tell them what's glorified, sanctified. Tell us what's up. We don't mind hearing the do, Aries. I'm looking at the time, so don't panic. I try not to go too long with these videos because they be acting like they don't want to download. And I want to finish saying a lot to y'all. I like to tell y'all a lot in 72 hours. I don't like to tell y'all a little bit of stuff. And then, you know, it ain't about charging. I don't get paid for this. Because it's about, I love y'all and I care about y'all on the real. Not the other stuff, you know, like money. You know, I'm not with that. See, all these cards want to fly out for you. Okay, spirit, let's get started. Next 72. Let's see what's going to go crack a lack and what's going down. What's going down in the next 72 hours for Aries, Spirit? They all want to turn around. Okay. I'm not taking all these. Okay, now we're going to try it again. Let's see. What's going down in the next 72 hours? See, look. They all want to. Come on, Spirit, help me out. Next 72, what's going down with Aries? One at a time, Spirit, please. What's going down with Aries in the next 72 hours? The next 72 hours. What's going down with my pretty lovely Aries in the next 72 hours? Okay, so we got some here. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. What else is going down in the next 72 hours for my Aries that they need to know? What else do Aries need to know? Okay. Okay, we're going to get one more card and then we're going to talk about, okay? One more, Spirit. Just one more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. At the bottom, we have uh, basically... They want you to work on your, you're going to have good fortune is coming your way. There's some good fortune coming to you because it's at the bottom of the face, the pain. Also, they want you to remember this. Here we go. Let's talk about it. Okay. There's going to be a journey or a voyage. Someone is taking a voyage. You might be taking a journey to see someone or just getting away. But some of you Aries... Uh, maybe taking a journey to places or someone is coming to see you. I think someone's coming to see you because they got um, fidelity. Some of you are out that may um, or doing some infidelity. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not doing the right thing. You're you're lying, deceiving people. You got two or three relationships. But then you also are working with someone that's coming towards you that's jealous. They're very jealous of you, Aries. Someone is very jealous of you. And someone may want to steal from you, thievery. It could be your time. See, thief could be a lot of things. This person wants to steal you or steal from you or on a journey to take your or they're just trying to take your blessings, the person that's coming towards you in the next 72 hours. Um, it says widow. There, it's it's, it's got to do with a widow. There's a widow, as you can see, there's a widow that... Um, what I feel about this widow is maybe this this person. Uh, there's a widow that's that's having difficulties right now, coping with the situation in her life, or maybe the uh, the 
allegedly I don't want her nobody to death of her husband or wife. Um, because you got a visit, someone might try to play you a visit of concern. They want to come back to this widow um, or pay your visit con containing to that this widow. But it could do with, um, I believe the thievery is from a widow. Someone's trying in a romantic to come back in life and they're not coming back with good retention. They're coming to steal of what you have. Um, but you have a visit coming from, it looks like a lover or something, because you have the lover. They're saying you got a visit coming from this lover. They're going to, they're like on a journey. Someone's coming to see you for love purposes. It's, it's a lover. Um, but this widow may be in a, with a lover. They may be in a relationship, but there's somebody else trying to come and, um, or in another scenario, they're trying to steal your time and steal you away from, um, getting your stealing from you and some it could be energy it could be anything so be careful aries um you have a desire a very desire for this lover but there is um widower over here. you got widow and then you got widower so there's a desire that this widow a widow got towards you um Custody. Some of you may be fighting for custody concerning the situation. Or there could be a loss or someone that's gambling in a loss or loss because of this thievery. And it's got to do with this house. Someone could lose if they're not good and careful to choose right in the next 72 hours is what I'm feeling with. Uh, someone's trying to come and steal from you, Aries, basically bluntly. They're trying to mess with you being a widow or widower so they feel like they can come and take your energy or to delay the process of you getting what you, because you they think you're longing for that lover. You, you Some of you are called in the, uh, maybe called in the feeling of, I need my lover back. I, I can't survive going with that. You can survive. You got to, first of all, believe in yourself, Aries. Stop worrying about the past. Yes, you love that person, but you also got to release them. They got another job to do on the other side, and you got a job to do right you here. But someone is going to try to steal steal from you. Who? What's the deal with the thievery card, the theft card here? Who's stealing from Aries? Because I see who's going to be stealing from Aries spirit. Who's stealing from Aries? Um, hmm. The judge came out. Some of y'all may have to go to the judge about it. Uh, someone stole something from you. Oh, okay. There's someone that stole from you, took some of your inheritance or whatever, and they think they got away with it, but they're is a judge, you're getting judged because the judge came out. That means this person is going to get judged for that. Could be karma for that, too. Uh, for not um, the stealing someone from a, someone that had someone that uh, deceased. They stole from the situation. They, and, and you ain't got to worry because they're going to, they getting judged, too. And they're going to get what they get. And they're going to have to go to the judge, is what I'm seeing. Then we have um, unexpected joy. You're going to get unexpected joy from it. In other words, everything's going to turn out all right. The person that stole from you made you to where you're going to get more. Because they had no business doing that. And like I said, karma's real. Don't believe it? You will. Anything else you want to say to the spread? Uh, yeah, love. The angels want to send... Um, they're sending love to you. They're, they they had something to do with trying to get you with this lover here. They sent love to you to try to help you. Um, working with this widow, widow. She's getting blessed. Every she's getting this widow is going to get blessed for somebody that stole from you. Is what they, I'm hearing. And they're letting me know you will get blessed. You have, uh, but some of you might not want a baby. But there could be a baby in the 
if you don't want to get pregnant, then you need to be careful because this love affair may lead to a, having a baby, but it's good fortune in this. Some of you are getting stole. Somebody stole your inheritance is what they're saying. It's what I hear. And you still got a house at the bottom. In other words, you're going to get that big house you want someday that you want and the lifestyle you want, Aries. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Whoever stole, hey, it's over and done with. It's all Gucci, baby. It's all Gucci for the next 72 hours. Don't let nobody steal a delivery from you. There's somebody that wants to actually steal from you, Aries. They want to steal your energy or some kind of something from you. But the angels is going to bless you from being someone that stole from you. Uh, took something from you. They stole from you. And they're getting judged and they're going to get karma for that. Their spirits are going to deal with it. Don't have to worry about it. Don't. You don't have that word. No worries. Let's see what it says in relationship for you. What's going down in the relationship category for my Aries for the next 72? I'm sorry it was blunt, but that's what they say. Basically, you got two, what I hear is two lovers. Someone ain't right. It's coming to you. It's different scenarios. Someone is trying to see you as another way. And then you got a lover that really just adores you. But there's one you need to stay away from. And also watch out for the thievery of people that have stole from you in the past from inheritance. It's okay. Just because you're widow and people steal from me, it's okay. It's all right. God got it. It's always karma. Oh, it says wedding. Okay, this situation involves marriage. Someone may be getting married in the in the, in this relationship that they sent to you. They knew y'all would be a perfect match. They sent you someone. Some of you are going to get married again. A widow going to get married again. From what I heard, it's going down the aisle again. <coughs> Go with your best of Harry. I have to choke up on that subject. <coughs> Good for you, Aries. You fin to go down the aisle with someone else real soon. It's coming. You, it's, this situation involves marriage. It really do. It involves marriage. Um, but that's why I said this is a soulmate connection here. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then involves, yes, that's your soulmate. But there's also, they want you to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, though. They want you to take caution in this. Think real long and hard. Make sure that person ain't playing. Because you got two of them. And one is right and one ain't. And the one is your soulmate. But they still got a little bit of habits that they need to clear up. Is this what I'm saying? Or it's one of the two. But one's good and one ain't. Hey, it is what it is. I can't change that. Thought they won't let me. They won't let me. Anything else we gotta say to Aries? And then I'm close. Can't make these videos too long because boy, it's so hard that they take forever to download. Anything else in the 72 hours that Aries need to be aware of, spirit? Anything else you want Aries to know for the next 72 hours they may be faced with? Oh, see, they coming down. <laughs> Here we go. You got the towel in reverse. There is someone in unhappy marriages, ability, and they can't make no worthwhile change. Okay? Someone is, uh, um, hold on. This was too many. Someone can't make no worthwhile change. They told me to keep that card, though. Okay, spirit. Why is the tower here in the reverse? for Aries for the next 72 hours. Okay. It's because the wheel's going to turn. Destiny. They're going to make this... It's got to do with the wheel of, uh, the wheel of fortune came out. That means that they're going to make it end. And this is approaching to an end. Unexpected events may occur in this situation. Um, then you got the six of swords in the reverse... There's, um, there can be some um, difficulty. Unwanted, it's an unwanted proposal and a confession that somebody going to tell you. It's crock of somebody. Then you got the page of wands in reverse. Um, there's indecisions in proceeding in something and um, inability to make any 
decisions. A gossip bearer of bad tidings. This boy, someone, um, in the reverse, they they talk, they do a lot of gossiping, do a lot to drown. Could be you. You need to stop all that gossip in the next 72 hours. Don't gossip about it. It is what it is. You know, you can't change what's going, but you don't have to be part of it. That's what the angel's saying. You don't have to be part of the mess, it reads. And it says the three of swords, an absent sorrow, disappointed. Um, you're just unhappy and some grief. You have grief. That's what it said, this widow. The three of swords, you feel unhappy and grief behind it. But it was a purpose why this it just ended because it was over. It was the time they broke. It's time for the... the they come to an end of the situation. Then you got the page of swords in reverse. There's an imposter. There's an illness that you don't see is, uh, that's coming. Also, but powerless in the face of a stranger. Some of you lack of preparation. Prep, something you need to work on your health in the next 72 hours. I'm not a doctor, but they're saying it's, there's something. Some of you have an illness that has not been discovered yet. Some of you may become ill and you're not prepared for it. Um, it could be an um an air sign around you that because it's this page swords. Someone with air in the chart, like I said, watch out because karma is coming. And there's someone with air in the chart that got an illness that you don't see coming that you connect with. That's they're gonna be not able. They're not gonna be prepared for it. Like I said, you better watch because your karma is not cool. Whoever. Is doing things they need to correct. You better do it. Because they're going to do it for you. Then you got the seven of, of swords. New plans. Wishes going to come true. Yeah. You're going to get your wishes. And confidence. And design. You're going to. And you're going to get what you. What you uh, seek to get. You, your wishes is going to come be granted. Because of this. This uh, betrayal. Seven of swords. Then you got to, the hangman, someone is an ability to make any worthwhile change and it's going to be a rebirth. So what happened in one life could happen to you also. So remember that. Karma's real. So take care of yourself, Aries. Don't let nobody destroy your joy, even if they want to make you feel miserable. Tell them to stick it in the, in the bucket. I don't need to listen to that crap. I don't need to be treated, mistreated. I'm boss. Boss, don't let nobody do you, Aries, in the next 72 hours. I don't care if you're widow or not. Yes, they stole. Yes, they did that. Forgive it and let them go. Because what they did to you, you're going to get blessed 10 times fold. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Put it in that F bucket. Because there ain't nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. But you can go forward. You can go with this fist and you can make yourself strong. And you can get whatever you want in life. Don't let nobody stop you. I don't care what going down. You have to think positive. Things happen for a reason. You can't change when it's time for someone to move on. You can't be mad at them. You can't be angry at them. It's just something that got to go. We come in this world and we leave out. And we have to learn to accept it. We have to learn to come full force with it. We got to put it up to higher power. And you know who the God you serve. You know who you serve. The God you serve. So you need to put it in his hands and let them deal with it. Because you can't worry about shoulda, coulda, woulda. But you feel something's coming. You're angry, but let go of the anger so you can get your wishes and you will be the happiest Aries in town. Go for it. Do your thing. Stand up. Holla, Aries. Aries, holla. <laughs> Peace. And like and subscribe to this channel. I thank y'all and God bless y'all. Send love and light to you. Bye-bye. Bye, sweetheart, Aries. Y'all find self. Bye-bye.